Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed the depress Eeyore, and this is uh, Russell Tear. Wow, I couldn't even pronounce my own intro. Anyway, uh, where we last left off, we paid our first week of uh, debt off, which was 10,000. Uh, fortunately, our debt isn't fully repaid yet, and as mentioned, the payments increase every week. So now our payment is 30,000 for next week, which isn't too bad, telling me we almost already have that much. But uh, what I'm probably going to do is spend all my money right now and get as much merchandise as possible. We also finished some side quests too, following that some uh, kid mage that's really annoying. Anyway, so first things first. Outstanding orders. We have two orders. One's tomorrow. That's two weapons uh, involving the man. So, and then we in two days we need to get two pieces of armor for Louis. Now there's a key difference between two. Um, Two armor and two pieces of armor. Two armor means things that are practically just for chest, your chest, like clothes, robes, breastplates, and you know, suits of armor. Two pieces of armor includes things like bracelets, shields, and helmets. So um, I'm gonna try to get Louis some, probably a shield and probably I don't know, maybe a helmet, and see how that goes. Let's see, what's he have right now? Yeah, I think I'll give him, uh, yeah, some armor and a better shield. That'll be a good idea. And since he's already at level 1 for his uh, re uh, reputation with me, he should have enough to afford most of the stuff. Anyway, let's go shopping. And uh, let's go to Town Square. Oh. Big sis, wait! You walk so fast, wait up! That girl. Yeah. Tear, is something wrong? Oh, uh, no, it, it is nothing. Oh, you, you were looking at the sis sisters. Hey, Tear, how do you think people see us? How do... Do you think we look like si sisters? Given that I'm a fairy, I rather doubt it. Oh, right. Still, if we did, I'd be kind of happy. Really? Why is that? Well, since I'm bigger, I'd be the big sister, right? Your logic, as always, is breathtaking in its uh, faultiness. Yeah, I guess you would be the big sister. But that'd be really nice too, right, sis? Keep this nonsense up, uh, nonsense up, and I will leave you behind. Hey, wait for me. Actually, that event was uh, important. Uh, that el uh, that elven girl is actually um, someone we'll run into later. So triggering that event is somewhat important. But for right now, I don't think we have anything else. Uh, in order to get this event to trigger, you have to have beaten the um, Jade Way dungeon, which we have a couple of parts ago. Anyway, Merchant Guild. Let's take a look at our fusions. I don't think we can do anything with them. If we had a shell necklace, we can actually make a necklace. And if we had, if we actually had a few more water shrooms, we can make a shield. It won't be a good shield, but it, we can make a shield with it. I thought there was something else we could make. Okay, I guess it takes something else. Well, in any case, yeah, we'll see about. Uh, let's go and get a shell necklace. One left. How can we? Do that? Oops, sorry, wrong button. And those are capes. And knit buffler. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Anything else we can get? I'll get some food. I'll deal with that later, though. Alright. Let's go ahead and show off fusion, because we actually have enough mats for one. If it's if you have the mat, um, if you have found the mats ever, it will um, show as white. If they're gray, that means they're mats that you have not uh, found yet, or seen yet, or you know whatever. And if it's green like this, it means you have you've seen the items and you have them in your inventory right now. So we're gonna go ahead and combine these objects. Uh, this is about. Let me go through my inventory. This thing's worth 2,400 picks, and... Charred Lizard's worth 500. We 
get the Azura Necklace plus four. And now if we go to our items. This thing's worth 14,900 picks. So it's a pretty good trade. But uh, I wouldn't really rely on farming mats like that. If you happen to get the mats, good. Take advantage of it. Anyway. That taken care of. Close that. Got some. Yeah, we've unlocked some uh, third tier items. That's kind of neat. So what we need to do is... See what the difference is. That's 16 defense, 10 M defense. This is two plus 2 attack, plus 20 defense. And this is a big shield, which is 12 defense, 4 M defense. Or we can give him a, a helmet, which will be a plus 2 attack, plus 11 defense, and plus 3 defense. Um, I'm kind of thinking of giving him a uh, helmet. So, it's, I mean, I could, yeah, there's not much better I can get than that. So let's go ahead and go with the uh, Parade Helmet. And Parade Armor. Okay, and the, uh, the man was asking for two weapons. His budget is still, I think, 1800 Okay, I think our best bet is to get some of these, uh... Yeah, some crafter knives. So we'll get two crafter knives. And there you go. We have bracelets. We have shields, we have hats. We don't have any helmets. At least not any spare helmets. So I'll buy a couple of those. We have a necklace. Why not buy the sword as well? Those are fine. Get, a, get a sword. I'm trying to get some variety so I don't, you know, screw up everything. Uh, we got scrap plates. We need clothes, so let's get some windbreakers. Which are tough clothes. Tough clothes. Some windbreakers. Okay. Actually, since that mage guy's around, let's buy some stabs as well. I think, Ky yeah, Kylo starts out with a high uh, budget, so we'll go ahead and get that, just in case. Anything else? Yams, huh? These things are pretty expensive. Base price 2000. Base price 1600. work with here. We'll go, get to, go ahead and get some baked, uh, well no, we don't want that. We'll get some candy apples, some taiyaki. There we go. All our money, gone. Let's go. Wow, it's taking a while to load. There we go. Alright, we'll... Put the sword up here. Everything else should be fine. Rim breakers. We'll hold on to the armor. No one can afford that. Food there, food there. And some time. Yeah, we did have another shell necklace. Oh well. Alright, let's uh, open the store. Alright, the mage guy. Fairy. So you notice that Prime is here now, as well as uh, Alouette. They are actual customers uh, with their own little quirks as well. Um, the mage is here, 
pretty much all the main uh, M uh, characters we found so far showing up. Okay. Some hat. Sell that. Oh, uh, you're killing me. I don't have enough money. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I don't have enough money. Here, you'll take that. Yeah, I don't have enough money to actually buy the item. <laughs> you know what, uh, Louie? I take about half of the bad things I say about you. Alright, he's already getting... Uh, Thank you. Now I could buy it. <laughs> He's also got the best sword now. Alright, you're selling that to me. Uh, I'm not sure about his quirks. I'm gonna try 40%. Okay. Get you to buy this, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy it. Oh, you're killing me. Freaking man. Not much for the experience this time. That kind of sucks. Get some food. So you got, what, a budget of 1800? I've already put the taiyaki up there. So I'll give you a cherry instead. Alright. Anyone else? Oh, hey, Prime. Okay. Prime, you can't really hack. Um, if, if you remember about the uh, what the mage said about uh, the fairies, they're really good with business, so you can't really do much with them. Or her, sorry. 103% um, is what I always go with for Prime. Um, it's about the best you can do. You might be able to push for 105, but uh, she might uh, haggle you down. Your pen. Nice. Also, uh, Prime has a starting budget of 12,000, and Alouette starts with a budget of 1.2 million, so they can afford pretty much anything. Hello, little girl. I want to get two books, and I want them in three days. If you can get them for me, uh, you'll be awesome. I accept your order. I'm going to have to go and find cheap books for her, because her budget's only 600 <laughs> Unless I want to just get rid of booze of the world. Okay, well, we made back some of our money. And got freaking Louie to buy an awesome sword, so... I'll go ahead and put the bake yam on here, then. And a rusty dagger here. Actually, what's charms? Okay. Put a crafting knife there. Then. Not really much I can. Uh... We'll put a hand knit butler muffler there. Maybe Louie will buy it. Chances are another customer will buy instead. That's alright. Just a tear. Okay, you're selling that to me. Oh, fine. Old man's being a jerk. Okay, I will buy that off you. Alright, well, almost a level 9. Level 9 is not going to get us anything, it's just going to make us allow to change another thing in our shop, which we can't really afford right now. Oh, you're buying one. Good. Yes, it is. Okay, you're selling that to me, that's fine. Okay. 
What do you want? Yes, I do have a book. <laughs> Here's Booze of the World. <laughs> That's what you need? I'm pretty sure you're not old enough for that. I'm gonna try 115, because Kylo's a good sport. His starting budget's 3600, so... Sweet. We got rid of that book. Okay, you're buying that. Just bonus, nice, plus 30. That also gets you a lot of reputation if you get a just bonus. Like this, please. Okay, yeah, you can afford it. Yeah, we'll go 110. I didn't want to break my combo. Alright, we're doing, uh, this has been going rather well. I'll we'll go ahead and put a long sword up here now. Can Kylo afford that? He... sort of. And we'll put it up there. Anything else? Put a windbreaker up here. Cherry up here. And Tayaki. Okay. And let's keep shopping. Wouldn't it be good to stock something like this? That means he's selling it to us. Hey, Kylo. I want to buy this. Okay. Okay. Here, ten, nice. Kind of, I need some reputation ups, though, definitely. So if these guys don't get more budget, it's gonna be really hard to make the next, uh, the later payments. I didn't pay attention. I'm gonna assume I'm selling this. Yes, I am. And a near pen. Nice. Alright, so uh, we didn't make any money, but since we got a lot of stuff, we still exceed ex expectations. Okay, day 10. Ah, here we go. The price of candy has increased. Hey, hey, Tyr, what was that just now? Ah, uh, that, that was a newsflash. Important events are reported on for everyone in the city. That one was sudden jump in candy prices. So if you are buying or selling candy, pay close attention to that. Sudden jump? In other words, sudden scarcity has driven the price of candy up. In general, that means that prices will roughly double. So a candy that sold for 300 picks may, may now sell for 600. Wait, wait a minute, so candy is going to cost a ton of money for the rest of time? That's terrible, how am I going to survive? Wait, I'll buy all the candy in the city and keep it for myself. Well, maybe. I'll share or sell a little, but it is candy. Ahem. <clears throat> no, prices will stabilize after some time passes. Precisely how long, however, nobody can say for sure. For once, however, you have hit upon a good point. While it can be hard to predict price fluctuations, if you keep a fairly wide variety of stock handy, it is possible to take advantage of, sit of a situation like this and make money hand over fist. You can also t try to take advantage of the situation after news comes in, of course, but it's harder to really make a profit that way. Uh, this is complicated, and now I'm hungry. Well, it is quite a bit to take in at once, so let us see it in action, shall we? Ah, the news again. Watch carefully, this information could be vital. Right. Louis, the swordsman, bounce check at local cafe, now on the 1 a.m. Uh, and sometimes the news is, is like that. <laughs> well, for some people it's sure vital. Run, Louis, run! Okay. Now it's uh, the whole... 
buy low, sell high thing is now applicable uh, for this. Um, as right now, the current if you talk to Tier, you can get a new summary of everything that's popped up. Right now, the price of candy has increased, which means it's now twice as much. Stuff that's increased in price will have red text. Stuff that has dropped in price will have light blue text. Stuff that has crashed entirely in the market is dark blue and cannot be sold at all. Can cannot be bought or sold. So even though there's um, stuff, if like a price of uh, certain items does increase, it's a good idea to have a variety of that type of item because if you don't, you can crash the market, and then you won't be able to sell any of your stuff. I have some candy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. Also, today is sorry, one one outstanding orders. Today we need the t we're gonna deliver the two weapons. Um, Tomorrow we have to give two pieces of armor, and in two days we need to have two books for the girl. So for right now, I'm just going to run the shop. Actually, is that anything else? I got a warrior helmet. Yeah, you can put the warrior helmet up there. As for anything else, uh, we got some variety. Put a cherry up there. Actually, do I have any? I do have a candy apple. Yeah, we'll deal with that. We'll do that later. Okay, open the store. Welcome to. Oh, great. Good day. You seem to be lounging about as usual. Well, that's not true. I'm really very, very busy. Even if I do have my feet on up on the counter. Right, putting that aside for a moment. I assume you've heard about the recent issues concerning the trade of items deemed by the Chapel Masters to be magical? Uh, typical. I have heard about that. The Chapel Masters have been seizing items that they claim have a corrupting influence on a man's immortal soul. I believe the claim was... Ah, spot on. Just as I'd expect of you, Madame Fairy. Hey. Anyway, it's all sanctimonious nonsense. Interestingly enough, though, the items that the chapel gathers for destruction, a lot of them are turning up in dungeons, and I do mean a lot. Well, why? A very good question. The dungeons have always been packed with mysteries. However, so it may not be worth thinking about too hard. It does, however, present an opportunity, which leads me to... A guild card. Oh, you want us to give the items back to the chapel masters? How can you be so dense and still be capable of breathing? Dense, huh? I want to make sure that these items return to general circulation. The chapel masters are standing astride curi curiosity and knowledge, and uh, I won't have it. If you help me, you can recover some items to sell, while I lay hands on other things for study. Chapel Masters won't try to seize property from a secular shop, so you have nothing to worry about. Ah, of course. The Merchant's Guild has jurisdiction over the behavior of the city's merchants, and the Guild Masters would never cede authority to anyone, so... So they can't touch us. Aren't city politics wonderfully headache-inducing? Regardless, Madame Fairy, you provide the material support, I provide the quite literal firepower. We go into a dungeon together and get what we need, agreed? Well, we'll pay the adventure fee for sure, but you'll have to buy what we you, we find here in the shop, just like everyone else. Aw oh, man, you gotta be... Uh, well, yes, that's acceptable. I'm looking forward to see you in action. I expect a lot, Mr. Magician. You hardly need to worry on that front, Miss Counter Jockey. Just make sure you, uh, you can identify everything we find, alright? You bet. See you. Alright, we have our second adventurer. I'll talk more about that after the uh, sales here. Dude, dude. Ah, she's buying the showcase item, uh, the higher priced item. This is for my brother. Now, I don't, I think if I go above the budget, uh, she won't be able to afford it. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, the, I believe their budget is uh, increased automatically if they buy something that's higher price. So I kind of jipped myself a little bit, but not by much. It's either that or she already got an up, uh, a reputation up and I didn't see it. But anyway, it's practically double price, so 
We're definitely making a lot of profit off of candy. Hi there. I want to buy some food. Want some candy? Nah, I'm gonna get you won't get candy. You're the old man. I need more expensive food. Alright, candy apple. Hello, welcome to Rusty Tier. Yes, I do have your weapons. All set. Actually, let's do a little bit. We'll do 120 as usual. Memory is the total of all, all the items, and their budget is is multiplied by the number of items they requested. So right now his budget's actually like 3,600. <laughs> Louis, you're probably the richest out of the group. Well, actually, I take that bat. Prime and uh, Alouette have more money than you now. But you should enjoy this. Alright, level up. I'm not sure what level 10 was, but we'll find out soon enough. Sell that, okay. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, when they sell items like uh, like this, it can be really hard to measure how much they're actually worth. I'm just going to drop it to this much and hope for the best. Uh, you're killing me. I'm not going to really get much profit from that candy, but whatever. Oh, you want to buy a sword? Okay. Alright, you're buying that. Good. Your pen, nice. Okay. Well, let's talk about, uh... As you can see, now we have Kylo in our, uh, in our list. He starts out at level 10. He's a mage. He, um, in fact, as you can see, he starts out with three spells right off the bat. He's actually got some really good uh, spells. He has, like, no HP, though. He has 26 HP, but 108 SP. But his gimmick is different. Um, he can actually charge up his shots by holding down the attack button. Um, it's not too useful, but it's better than nothing. The thing that makes him great, though, is his fact that his magic is just really, really powerful. Um, generally... The thing about his spells that is that he has invulnerability frames while casting spells. So things like Pyrobomb, he can pretty much make himself immune to certain at uh, like attacks. Which, so you can use it kind of a way of dodging. Um, Spark Burst is really good for killing bosses because you just spray them with a bunch of attacks that do a lot of damage. Um, but other than that, he just he casts spells and um, his uh, normal attack is whacking with his staff and charging up. His attack will allow him to shoot a little bolt of magic. So you generally charge up just so you can have a, a ranged attack. Unfortunately, he can't move while charging up, I don't think. Anyway, uh, the thing about getting new characters is you generally have to do certain events to uh, unlock them. And then once you unlock them, they come to your shop. And once you get enough uh, reputation with that person, they will join you. So uh, we did enough uh, sales with Kylo that uh, he offered his guild card. Um, you can probably guess that Charm is probably another character, um, and she'll eventually join our party too if we actually sell more stuff to, him, uh, to her. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, well, right off the bat, we're already back to 25,000. And, uh, well, it's probably about time I save, and let me cut the video off here, and when we come back, we'll continue making money. So until next time, I am the Depressed Dior, and this is uh, Reseteer. Until next time.